It's a cat controversy. Chicago bubbling up at a Chicago animal care and control. Some volunteers raising concerns about recent cat deaths. They blame protocols at the shelter. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is looking into the startling claims. He had um, a big, uh, big black spot on his nose. Three-year-old Hubbard was a volunteer favorite playful and curious until days after this video was taken, he was found dead in his kennel. He was being handled without gloves. This is a sore um, subject yeah. for cat transport volunteers like Chris Kucharchuk. That's how passionate people are. And Justina Zakaria. It was just an immediate onset and death. Because Hubbard tested positive for Panluke, a highly contagious and often fatal cat virus. Just in the month of December, they were able to confirm that more than a dozen cats who died in their kennels or soon after being rescued from Chicago Animal Care and Control died of Panluke. But when they asked about requiring volunteers to wear and routinely change latex gloves at all times, they say they were dismissed. And so many cats died in that time. And, and you're saying needlessly? Needlessly, yes. So That's we asked the city why. Why not have every volunteer wear gloves? Well, the spread of disease happens um, when people are not using protocols to make sure their hands are clean. So whether or not you're using gloves isn't the issue. It's whether or not you're washing your hands between handling cats. We pointed to guidance from several local vets who advise using latex gloves if you don't know the cat's history. But Executive Director Kelly Gendersky argues... There is a big difference between a private veterinary practice and a municipal shelter. And she says they're using protocols specific to a shelter setting. These volunteers say they just want to save every cat that they can. What could I have done different? And it's not, it's not just one person, it's the whole team. Now, the shelter's data does show an uptick in Panluke deaths in November and December, but they argue they're also testing more cats than in years before. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.